Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Button, and welcome back to You Learn Something Every Day. It's very dark, if you haven't noticed, and you know what else it is? It's winter, and it's very cold, and you're going to be able to tell that it's winter due to my lovely winter cap that I'm wearing that you can't see yet. Why can't you see it? Because today we're talking about light and the significance of light in our lives. Mainly, we're talking about the centennial light bulb. Let me, let me add a bit of light to our situation. So I hope, let me just adjust that, sorry. I hope that I can shed some light, haha, ha, ha, <laughs> on the subject of the Centennial Light Bulb for you if you aren't already aware of what it is. Now the Centennial Light Bulb was a light bulb uh, created in 1890 um, and it has been running ever since 1890 having only been turned off a couple of times. Uh, it's a 30 60 watt light bulb, meaning that uh, when it was first produced, it ran uh, approximately to the same light and produced the same light as this current light bulb that I'm holding right now. Uh, this is a, a form of night light. It's very bright for a night light, in my opinion, though. Um, However, now, the Centennial light bulb is only running at approximately the same light producement that a 4 watt light bulb would uh, produce. Now, a 4 watt light bulb is what an actual night light kind of looks like, so... Like this. I'll let the camera into your eyes take a moment to get uh, used to that. That's a really, really dim light, but it's still been running for the past 124 years, it would be approximately. I think that's very, very impressive. So the question is now, now that you've learned something, why do light bulbs in our homes burn out? Uh, I'll keep the light on so you can actually see my face uh, for the rest of the talk. Um, light bulbs in our homes nowadays are mostly fluorescent light bulbs, meaning they run with a gas inside of them and an electrical current is run through that gas which causes the gas to produce light. However, you still do see filament light bulbs like this one in a lot of homes, uh, and they're still pretty commonly used, filament light bulbs, that is. Um, they aren't as energy efficient, but they're still a lot cheaper to make. So, the question is, why do our light bulbs burn out? If there are centennial light bulbs, there is this one centennial light bulb that's been running for the past several hun uh, the past hundred years, but there are also other centennial light bulbs, to use the phrase, that are capable of running for that long, that were produced in the time period. The answer to that is filament. Now, a filament light bulb runs by running an electric current through a thin filament, which you can kind of see in this light. I hope, uh, don't stare at it too long, it's really, really bright. Um, but, uh, you, you run a current through that light and you can see, or light is produced. Um, however, light bulbs nowadays are produced with a very, very fine filament in them, and that filament can burn out if it gets heated for too long, it stays on too long, it just burns out, it basically melts for a minute, and the minute it melts, uh, and there's no longer a complete circuit, electricity stops running through it, it stops producing light, and you've got yourself a broken light bulb. The thin filament can also be dislodged by shaking, along with other matters. So why don't we use a different filament in our light bulbs? Um, and the real answer to that is marketing. Here's our other night light, because we no longer have our filament light bulb. Now, Marketing and producing costs dictate that a thicker filament light bulb costs more to make, but also, there's this really tricky bit to it, they're also worse for the companies making them. Because if a company makes a light bulb that never burns out, they're only gonna sell a designated amount to everyone, because after a certain point, no one's gonna buy them anymore, because they have no need to. So companies who make light bulbs typically tend to produce these light bulbs with thin filaments in them so that they will burn out so that we have to go back and buy more. Uh, let's go the, with the light for the outro. Thank you so much for dropping by for this episode of You Learn Something Every Day. I hope you liked how I'm actually utilizing the video for something aside from just me talking. And if you did, please be sure to leave a like. I'd really appreciate that. Um, also, stick around tomorrow for the animation. As I said, I'm sure you'll uh, enjoy that. I'll see you guys in the next episode of whatever that may be. And don't forget to live long and peace out. Bye!